What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video and before you do anything please just watch this entire intro so you get the concept of the video then feel free to skip through to your heart's content but please just watch this intro real quick. For starters I'm just going to say there's probably Fight Night Champion uh, gameplay in the background, people are sometimes asking why it's not esports boxing club gameplay in the background, that's because there's been about a minute and a half and I'm not going to put it on repeat 75 times, so just clear the air quickly with that. Also as you can tell by the title, this is 5 fighters that I want in esports boxing club, this is based on how I believe they will be played in the game, not based on any bias that I may have. If you want me to do another one of these where I do another 5 then feel free to let me know, I've written about 30 down but I don't want to um, have the video be like 4-5 or five hours long of me just rambling, so I thought I'd break it down to the first 5, there's no particular order so it's not like this is the best 5 and it gets worse and worse these are all five great fighters and also i do understand licenses don't forget you guys need to understand that as well just because the game might not have your favorite fight doesn't mean the creators are lazy if they can't do nothing about it they can't do nothing about it i just want to get that out of the way before idiots start pointing fingers the, this video is not my top five favorite fighters in the whole world of boxing this is five fighters that i think would play fantastically in the game in maybe a unique standpoint an interesting standpoint a hard to master standpoint whatever it may be this is all about how they would play in the game while i enjoy a lot of these fighters if not all of them the list is by no means biased with my favorite fighters there are more than just the one weight class so before people go ahead and put all oh, aj fury we need them in the game you know we need to focus on all the weight classes and while i love fighters like davis canelo uh garcia tofimo lopez lomachenko terence crawford people like that i can't just stack these lists up with people i want with just my favorite fighters i thought everyone does that where they just pick their five ten favorite fighters i thought this is five fighters that generally maybe I don't even know that much about. I've done a lot of research. This video has taken about four or five hours to put together. I've done a lot of research on a lot of fighters and these are five guys that I think would be fantastic to play as in esports boxing club. So in no particular order out of this top five, the first one we have got is the WBA Super World Bantamweight Champion and the IBF World Bantamweight Champion. 20 and 0, 17 knockout. Naoa the monster in Nui. This man stands at 5'5 five five with 76 inch reach. His last fight he KO'd the 21 and 1 Jason Maloney who I believe is actually in the Esports Boxing Club. Maloney's only other loss was to Emmanuel, Emmanuel Rodriguez where he lost by split decision in Nui. Before that went and KO'd Emmanuel Rodriguez before the Maloney fight and after Rodriguez has beaten Maloney. Inui is on a different fucking planet bro. 17 knockouts in the Bantamweight division Dude fights nothing but killers, and he just comes out on top every time. He has got that freaky power in that division, and I think for a lot of reasons he'd be he'd be fun players because he would not only keep the speed and catch up with all the current bantamweights in the game, but he would body them. The power would be something so fun to play with and something so fun to play against. If you come up to against a skilled Inui player, let's say I master Inui. If you come up to me, let's say I fight myself, I'm a skilled Inui player against another skilled player. You're going to be watching out for that power for those 12 rounds. You're going to need to really work for 12 rounds. And I think that is what will make something like this game exciting. Is you're going to be worried about the power. But you can't let it consume you because that's how you lose. You need to bing, bing and move off. Bing, move off. You know, drop down low, catch a few bodies and move off. That's how you're going to have to fight him. Whereas when you are him, you're going to have to pressure, fight in the pocket. Use his nice straights, his quick shots, his quick combos that he throws together. His rapid counters that he throws together. And, um, man, boy, would he be so much fun to play as. Honestly, when I started writing this this video, he was one of the top right away off the top of my head. Um, he's just someone that I would love to see in the game in general. But also, I just think that the way he would play, the way he moves, his speed of his punches would be insane. And obviously, with like most divisions, it'd be good to see more divisions in this game be filled out. So I think he would definitely be a top contender to have a bantamweight. You've got tons of contenders you could have a bantamweight as well that would really compete with him in the game. But personally, with the punch power, the speed, the combos he has, he would be a fantastic asset to the bantamweight division. Not even in real life, but in the game as well. As we move on to the second fighter on this list, this is the former WBC heavyweight champion of the world, 42 and 1, with 41 KO wins, 1 KO loss, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. This man stands at 6 foot 7, 83 inch reach. His last fight was to Fury, as we all know, which he lost. Other than the decision to Stavern, who he later KO'd, he has KO'd every single fighter except for Tyson Fury. And while Wilder has been slated for his resume not being fantastic and fighting 
lower level competition than he should have at the championship level, other than maybe Luis Ortiz, Dominic Brazil, and then Tyson Fury, who he drawed and then lost to. And while his boxing skills, in a, in a nutshell, can be weak, his, he doesn't have great pure boxing skills, he's not a great technical boxer. And while I think he is underranked in his boxing skills, I think they are there, he just chooses not to use them. He has yet again that one punch that one punch power, but in the heavyweight division, it is freaky. I was talking to a few guys in the comments about it, and ever since then I haven't been able to get it off my mind. It would be something that would have to be a hundred, and it can it, one punch. It could really end the fight no matter what, and that's how I want the game to be. I want it to be an end the fight no matter what, and I think he'd be such a great asset asset to the game because he'd be easy in a sense if you're a smart fighter to counter, to move around. Putting him away would be difficult because of that 83 inch reach, because he stands at such a tall frame at six foot seven. I think it would really have to be, hit. you're gonna to have to set up, sorry, this way, that set up that right hand that he has, because it's, it's nasty. When it lands, it does drop people. Nine out of 10, sorry, 41 times out of 42, it knocks them out stone cold. Fury was able to get up because Fury's a freak of nature. We're gonna ignore the Fury fight because Fury is just a freak that does not lose. But while I think that Wilder would be easy in a sense to counter for any smart player, he would be a fun challenge to use because you'd have to set up that right. It could be predictable, it could be coming, but you'd have to throw those long, long jabs, maybe a few terrible hooks. But then once that straight right comes through and it lands through the pipe, my God, you could end a fight. You could lose 11 rounds and you could win that 12th and knock someone out with Wilder. And I think it would be a different kind of knockdown because they just, their brain just shuts down. We saw what he done to Luis Ortiz. That man was sitting up like this. We saw what he done to Dominic Brazil. The dude was awake but couldn't move. His whole body was shut down. Like, even Fury, he Fury put flat on his back. Fury was able to get up, obviously. Um, we saw what he done to Stavern. I mean, Stavern got bodied by that man three times in one round. It was, it was insane. So I think, pure gameplay sense, it would be super fun to see him in the game. It'd be a super unique take on the heavyweight fighters. He would he would have a fast jab, an insanely fast straight, because let's be honest, that straight does come quick down the pipe, and there's no doubt in that. But obviously, his boxing skills lack. His jab is not as good as most heavyweights. Um, so I think it'd be a unique challenge to use him. Super fun to use him, but a unique challenge, and that's what this game would all be about. And I think you could really create some interesting fights, because you know, you've got two content creators. I choose Wilder. Um, who's the guy that I talk about? Boiler, for example. We talk about this game a lot um, in DMs and on Twitter in general. And, uh, you know, he'd be using Joe Frazier. He'd have to think for 12 rounds, watch that right, watch that right, which might slow down his productivity that he usually has. You know, he might be thinking, watch that right. You know, it can land in, in close. It can land. We've seen where he landed against Sonic Brazil. They were literally this far away from one another, and it just piped down across the chin. He was out cold. So, you know, I think that's where that would make it interesting. People would kind of slow their roll a bit and think, shit, do I just pressure him like mad, like Fury did in the second fight, and risk it and knocked out? Or do I try and in and out and in and out against him? And I think that would offer a really interesting challenge to uh, bring Wilder to the game. And then we move on to number three in this list. Some of you guys might not have heard of this man. This is the WBC and the IBF light heavyweight champion of the world, 15 and 0, with 15 KOs, Artar Bitabev. This man from Russia trains in Montreal, Canada, I believe. I didn't actually, I should have written that down, but I'm pretty certain he trains in Quebec, I'm pretty sure, and he's from Russia. This light heavyweight stands at 5 foot 11 with a 73 inch reach. Uh, I think for starters, um, he would be good to have in this game, in a sense, because it would put the light heavyweight division on notice. This guy's a straight killer, honestly, guys. Since his sixth professional fight, so he's only 15, since his sixth professional fight, everyone he's fought has had either six losses or less and 15 wins or more. He has fought so many people that were 20 and 0, 21 and 0, 15 and 0, 17 and 1, and he just comes out and makes it look like they are journeymen. And they're fighting good guys. Light heavyweight division is stacked with people that are killers. You don't get as many journeymen in the uh, light heavyweight division as you do in the heavyweight division because it's such a specific weight that you have to be in light heavyweight. And I think. Just in general, it would be fantastic for the division in the game and in real life to have him in the game. Like I said, the division is fantastic. It's just a little unknown to the casual fans, which is a real shame. Because when you've got a champion like this, this dude's a straight murderer. The way he knocks out people is cold, blooded. I just think it'd be wicked. Uh, you know, the main reason I'd like to see him in the game, not only his power, his cold, blooded, calculated power. For a light heavyweight, he's, he's not big like a heavyweight. He's not small like a middleweight he is like literally the perfect size at that that weight class he's got the perfect center speed 
accuracy is crisp combos are good he sets up his knockout punches so well he is improving every single fight and as they have and they as they have a potential rating in the game this would be a man that would have 99 potential it is just this is a, there's not much to say because like i said the division is unknown fights are always really good um but that being said i think that putting someone like this in the game would put not only the division on notice in real life and in the game it would really uh, open people's eyes and i think to have someone like this at the top whenever you fight someone like this in that division it's going to be like oh shit man you know he's a bit of a he's a bit of an unknown you know how do we count him no one's been able to do it in real life how do i do it in the game and unfortunately i think this is one that will go by the wayside because the division is so um left in the dark in my opinion anyways from what i've seen i feel like the division gets left in the dark quite a bit amongst especially casual fans so now we move on to number four and i know a lot of you classic guys are going to agree with this guys that watched boxing in the 90s this was the i believe the former wbo and wbc featherweight champion of the world have you guessed it yet 36 and 1 31 ko's one loss by decision that is prince nasim hamed stands at five foot four 64 inch reach this dude's a king of showboating with a per almost a perfect record of 37 and 1. He won his final fight. He lost the second fight before that, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure he's from Sheffield, and I'm 99% sure that is near or where the game is being made. So to, ha to not have him in the game would probably kill the guys over at Steel City Interactive. I could see him being in the game for that reason, that reason alone, just purely where he's based, and that he is a a fan favourite amongst people in their 30s and 40s, which I'm sorry to make you guys feel old, but that's just the way it is being this 2021 now. And, uh, you know, I think in the featherweight division, you have a lot of quick movers, a lot of quick punches. This man was both, um, you know, the way he moved, if they could capture his movement, the way he moved around the ring would not only be so perfect with that footwork mechanic that they're working on, and the way he threw his strikes, sometimes from the waist, you know, his hands are always moving, his legs are always moving, his head's always moving. Yes, it didn't work out for one fight, but for 35 consecutive fights and 36 fights in total, it worked a fucking treat. And this dude bodied people. Have his 36 wins to get 31 KOs? And especially in the featherweight division, without so much as the Javonte Davis power that he may have, the speed is what was bodying people. And to fight someone like that in the featherweight division would not only be incredible to see him in the game and to see him put and, and you visualize him in like almost 4K quality would be fantastic. But to, his footwork in the game, his, his hand speed in the game, his movement in the game would be such a huge asset. You could make so many fantastic videos with that. You could have such a good time just using him in the game, just, you know, on quick match, just messing around with him, just moving, just getting used to his movement. You never know what's going to come, and that's what you want with, with a boxing game and a boxing match in real life. You never know what's coming. When someone's like this, you know something is coming from one of these directions. With him, it was always moving around. The dude was was weird and fantastic, all, all in one. And I think him has to be one of the top guys to want in the game. And... Uh, yeah, that's uh, my main reason for wanting him is his footwork, his movement, his speed. M most of what everyone wants in boxing. But for him specifically, that is like one of the biggest things. It's not his name. It's not who he is. It's not his record. It's not his titles. Just literally how he moved, how he entered the ring, how he swaggered, how he showboated. To see him immortalized in that game would be mind blown. And the final one for this list, guys, obviously, like I said, I've literally got like 25 more written down, but these are the five I want to do for this video. We've got the former WBC and WBA heavyweight champion of the world. This man has unfortunately passed away since um, in his fighting days. He is 56 and 5, 37 KO victories, 1 KO loss. The greatest Muhammad Ali. I think this man... You don't need an introduction, but I'm going to go over it anyway. Standing at six foot three with a 78 inch reach, one of the greatest to ever do it. A true legend, most people's favourite legend to ever do it. And the simplest way to put him in the game, the simplest reason I want to see him in the game is one: the Ali shuffle would be fantastic with the new footwork mechanic, the way he threw punches, the speed of you know, blah, 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 how he could throw 15, 16, 20 hooks and straights and jabs all mixed together to break an opponent's book and shatter their kneecaps by hitting them in the head. Just everything about the way Muhammad Ali moved and functioned and fought and carried himself, 
everything about it could be flawlessly put into the game and it would be just amazing to see this man in the game. Yes, he was in Fight Night, but let's be honest, Fight Night Champion is no esports boxing club, at least from the trailers. Fight Night Champion is a great game, but if this game is as half as good as it's expected to be, it's going to blow every single fighting game out of the water. And uh, I generally cannot wait to play this game. But that is, I don't have much to say about Muhammad Ali. You guys know who he is. You guys know how he moved, how he fought. And, you know, the dude never gave up. And to see him fight the way he did and to be able to immortalize it, you know, he hasn't got that that one punch where it's like, you know, he could just beam you through your guard and it shatters your skull and you're, you're dead. You know, it was the flurry, it was the speed, and it was the combos he put together. It wasn't just one, two, three. It was like, oh, he's hit me with a jab. Okay, now I've been hit 45 times and I don't know what to do, my nose is broken. You know, that was the kind of speed he had. It was lightning fast. You know, like he, like he always said, he's fast, he's fast. He hit, hit the light switch and he was in the bed before the room went dark. It's just classic. Everything about him is classic. I watched my Hunter Lee video, it gives me goosebumps. So to, put, to not put him in this list would be a um, disgrace, really. Uh, so, yeah, but that's my list, guys. Um, I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to leave a like as well. Let me know your guys' uh, opinions in the comments down below. I'll be sure to read them and reply. And um, I will be sure to make another five. Because I was tempted not to. But I think I'm going to have to. Because this was just too much fun to talk about. And too much fun to make. To not do another one. So yeah. Oh, monitor's shaking with the <laughs> webcam one. But thanks for watching as always guys. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.